Generative AI is an exciting new technology that can create all kinds of new content, text, images, audio, and video. It's trained on huge datasets, which allows it to learn patterns and relationships within the data. This enables it to generate completely new, original content that can be highly realistic and creative. The image on this slide depicts a futuristic, complex machine learning model, representing the power and sophistication of generative AI systems. I'll give an overview of how generative AI works and some of the key applications and use cases. A generative AI is a field of artificial intelligence that focuses on creating new content, such as images, text, audio, video, and code. Oh, it uses algorithms to learn patterns and structures from existing data and then generates novel output that is similar to the input data. A generative AI models are trained on massive datasets and learn to capture the underlying distributions of the data. They can then generate new data samples that are similar to the training data, but are not exact copies. This allows for the creation of unique and original content rather than just replicating existing information. Generative AI has a rich history, with roots tracing back to the early days of computing in the 1950s to 1970s. During this foundational period, concepts like Markov chains and early machine learning algorithms laid the groundwork for the field. In the 1980s, we saw the emergence of more sophisticated statistical models, such as Bayesian networks and hidden Markov models. This was also the decade when neural networks started to gain traction, with early applications in areas like image processing and text generation. The 1990s brought further advancements as generative models continued to evolve and gain momentum. The modern era, from the 2000s to the present day, has seen explosive progress, with the development of powerful techniques like GNs, VAEs, and other deep learning-based generative models. This rapid progress has truly transformed what's possible with generative AI, opening up exciting new frontiers and possibilities. Generative AI models learn the underlying probability distributions of data, allowing them to generate new data that resembles the training data. These models represent data in a lower dimensional latent space, capturing the essential features of the data. The training process involves optimizing the model parameters to maximize the likelihood of generating realistic data. This allows the model to generate new data that is similar to the training data, but not identical, enabling creative and novel applications. Variational autoencoders, VEs, are a type of generative model that learn a compressed representation of the data distribution. They are often used for tasks like image generation and data augmentation, as they can generate new samples that resemble the training data. VAs work by learning an encoder network that maps the input data to a latent representation and a decoder network that generates new samples from the latent space. Generative adversarial networks, GNs, are another type of generative model consisting of a generator and a discriminator network. The generator learns to create realistic data, while the discriminator learns to distinguish between real and generated data. GENs have shown impressive results in generating high-quality images, but can be challenging to train. Autoregressive models generate data one element at a time, conditioned on the previously generated elements. Examples include GPT-3 for text generation and WaveNet for audio generation. These models can capture long-range dependencies in the data and generate coherent, realistic outputs. Diffusion models are a newer type of generative model that has shown impressive results in image and audio generation. They work by gradually adding noise to the data and then learning to reverse the process, generating new samples that resemble the original data. Diffusion models can produce high-quality, diverse outputs and are often more stable to train than GANs. GENs are a powerful generative AI architecture that consists of two neural networks, a generator and a discriminator. The generator network learns to create synthetic data that resembles real data, while the discriminator network learns to distinguish between real and generated data. GENs are trained through an adversarial process where the generator tries to fool the discriminator and the discriminator tries to correctly identify generated data. The image on this slide is a stylized 3D rendering of a GN, showing the interconnected nodes and lines of the network, with an abstract landscape emerging from the network. 
The image has a dark background with glowing, contrasting lines and colors, creating a vibrant and visually striking representation of a GN. Variational autoencoders, VEs, are a powerful class of deep learning models that can learn to compress and reconstruct data. The encoder component maps the input data to a lower dimensional latent space, capturing the underlying structure of the data. The decoder component then learns to reconstruct the original input from the latent representation. By sampling from the latent space, VAEs can generate new data samples, enabling creative exploration and discovery. The latent space learned by VAEs provides a compact, interpretable representation of the data that can be useful for a variety of applications, such as generation, anomaly detection, and semi-supervised learning. Autoregressive models are a class of generative models that generate data one element at a time, where each new element depends on the previously generated ones. Examples of autoregressive models include recurrent neural networks, RNNs, and transformers, which are commonly used for tasks like text and music generation. These models are powerful because they can capture complex dependencies in sequential data, allowing them to generate coherent and realistic outputs. The key idea behind autoregressive models is that they build the output incrementally, conditioning each new element on the previous ones, rather than generating the entire output at once. This sequential generation process allows autoregressive models to handle variable length inputs and outputs, making them well-suited for tasks like language modeling and audio synthesis. Diffusion models are a powerful class of generative models that can produce high-quality data like images, text, and audio. The key idea is to train the model on noisy versions of data and then learn how to reverse the noise process to generate new data. This involves progressively adding noise to existing data and then training a neural network to remove that noise and reconstruct the original data. By starting with pure random noise and gradually removing the noise, diffusion models can generate completely new data samples from scratch. The process of adding and removing noise allows the model to learn the underlying structure and patterns in the data, enabling it to create novel and realistic outputs. Transformers are a powerful neural network architecture that have revolutionized natural language processing. They use attention mechanisms to focus on the most relevant parts of the input, allowing for impressive performance on tasks like text generation, translation, and code writing. Language models built on transformer architectures like GPT-3 have demonstrated remarkable capabilities that were previously unimaginable. The visual on this slide depicts the complex structure of a transformer model with its intricate network connections and vibrant color scheme. Transformers are a key technology enabling the rapid advancements we're seeing in AI-powered language understanding and generation. Generative AI has a wide range of applications across different industries. One key application is image generation, using AI to create realistic and imaginative images for design, advertising, and entertainment. Another application is text generation. AI can write different types of text like articles, poems, scripts, and code. This is useful for content creation, translation, and education. Generative AI can also create music and audio that is indistinguishable from human-created works. This has applications in music production and video game development. Finally, generative AI can be used to create videos and animations for marketing, education, and entertainment, from animated characters to entire scenes. The versatility of generative AI makes it a powerful tool across many domains. Generative AI is an exciting new technology that can create stunning, realistic images from scratch. It can generate photorealistic images, artistic styles, and even entirely new visual concepts. This has huge potential applications in creative industries like art, design, and visual effects. A generative AI could revolutionize how we create visual content, allowing for unprecedented creativity and innovation. The images we're seeing here are examples of the incredible capabilities of this technology. I'm excited to dive deeper into how generative AI works and the ways it's being applied. Text generation is a powerful capability of generative AI models. These models can create human-like text that is often indistinguishable from content written by humans. They achieve this by learning patterns and relationships in language, allowing them to generate coherent and engaging text. Text generation extends beyond just English. 
models can be trained on datasets in multiple languages, enabling creative text generation in various languages. AI models can even generate more creative content like poems, scripts, and novel chapters, pushing the boundaries of artistic expression with technology. Music and audio generation is a powerful capability of generative AI. It can create a wide range of musical styles, from classical to pop to jazz. AI can also generate sound effects, voiceovers, and even full audiobooks. These AI-generated sounds are increasingly being used in video games, movies, and other multimedia. The microphone image on this slide represents the ability of AI to listen and then generate new audio content. The warm, inviting lighting and vintage soundboard in the background set a creative, inspirational tone for this topic. Video and animation generation is a revolutionary application of generative AI. It enables the creation of highly realistic and captivating visual content. This technology allows for the generation of videos, animations, and special effects that were previously very difficult or impossible to achieve. From 3D model generation to complex animations, generative AI is transforming visual storytelling and entertainment. The image on this slide depicts a futuristic, vibrant scene of a robot in a city landscape with neon lighting. This showcases the level of detail and realism that generative AI can produce. This technology is opening up new creative possibilities for filmmakers, animators, and game developers. The key challenges in generative AI that we'll be discussing today are data bias, ethical concerns, computational complexity, and evaluation and metrics. Data bias is a significant issue, as the large datasets used to train these models may contain biases that can be reflected in the generated outputs. Ethical concerns around the potential misuse of generative AI, such as creating deepfakes or spreading misinformation, are also an important consideration. Training and running these models often requires significant computational resources and expertise, which can be a barrier to adoption. Evaluating the quality and performance of generative AI models can be challenging due to the subjective nature of creativity and the difficulty in defining objective metrics. We'll explore each of these challenges in more detail and discuss potential solutions and best practices. Generative AI models can inherit biases present in their training data, which can lead to unfair and discriminatory outputs. These biases can be amplified as the models learn and generate new content, further perpetuating unfairness. However, there are mitigation strategies that can be employed, such as data augmentation and fairness-aware training, to address these biases. Ensuring fairness in generative AI is crucial for responsible and equitable applications, as these systems have the potential to impact people's lives in significant ways. We must be vigilant in identifying and addressing biases to uphold ethical principles and create inclusive, unbiased AI systems. Generative AI models often rely on large datasets, which raises concerns about the privacy of individuals whose data is used to train these models. We need to be mindful of how we collect and use this data and ensure we have robust privacy safeguards in place. AI models can inherit biases from the data they are trained on. This can lead to unfair or discriminatory outcomes that disadvantage certain groups. We must work to identify and mitigate these biases to ensure our AI systems are fair and equitable. Generative AI can be used to create highly realistic but fabricated content, like deepfakes. This technology could be misused to spread misinformation and deceive people. We need to develop robust detection methods and educate the public on the risks of these technologies. As generative AI automates more tasks, there is a risk of job displacement for certain roles and industries. We need to carefully consider the societal impacts and work to retrain and support displaced workers. Training generative AI models often requires massive datasets and extensive computational resources like powerful GPUs and TPUs. These models can take weeks or months to train, making them computationally expensive. The time it takes for a generative AI model to produce outputs, like generating an image or text, can vary significantly. Complex models may have longer inference times, which can impact real-time applications. Quantitative metrics provide numerical measures of performance, like comparing model output to real-world examples or specific criteria. Examples include inception score, freshet inception distance, and BLU score. 
A qualitative metrics assess the subjective quality of generated output, like realism, aesthetic appeal, and coherence. Human evaluation through surveys and expert reviews are common ways to measure these. Both quantitative and qualitative metrics are important for evaluating the performance of generative models. Quantitative metrics provide objective benchmarks, while qualitative metrics capture more subjective aspects of output quality. Uh, it's crucial to use a combination of these metrics to get a comprehensive understanding of model performance and identify areas for improvement. Generative AI models like Stable Diffusion, DALI-2, and GPT-3 have seen remarkable advancements in recent years. Stable Diffusion is an open-source model, allowing for wider adoption and experimentation, leading to a rapid pace of progress. DALI-2 exhibits remarkable image generation capabilities, producing photorealistic and creative images from textual descriptions. GPT-3 continues to improve in natural language processing, generating human-like text with increasing sophistication. These advancements are enabling new frontiers in creative expression, content generation, and language understanding. Stable Diffusion is a powerful AI model that can generate images from text prompts. It was developed by Stability AI and is known for its versatility and creative control. Stable Diffusion is open source and can run on consumer hardware, making it accessible to many users. Artists, designers, and researchers are using Stable Diffusion to create a wide range of images. The image on this slide depicts a futuristic, cyberpunk-style city skyline at night, with neon lights and a person on a balcony overlooking the scene. This example showcases Stable Diffusion's ability to generate detailed, imaginative images from text prompts. Dolly 2 is a groundbreaking AI model that can generate photorealistic images from natural language descriptions. It excels at producing visually appealing and conceptually innovative images, pushing the boundaries of artistic expression. Dolly 2 has numerous applications in fields like advertising, design, entertainment, and research. The system is inspiring artists and designers to explore new creative possibilities, blurring the lines between human and artificial creativity. GPT-3 is a groundbreaking language model developed by OpenAI, capable of generating human-quality text. It's a large language model, Elon, that has been trained on an enormous data set of text and code, giving it the ability to perform a wide range of language-based tasks. The image on the slide depicts a futuristic, high-tech workspace where a researcher is working on a complex computer system surrounded by large data displays. This visually represents the impressive capabilities of GPT-3. This slide provides an overview of what GPT-3 is and highlights its key strengths, setting the stage for the rest of the presentation. Jukebox is an AI-powered music generation model developed by OpenAI. I can create high-quality, original music in a variety of genres, styles, and moods. Jukebox's capabilities make it useful for generating background music, soundtracks, and even full songs. The retro-futuristic visual style of the image complements Jukebox's ability to create unique, imaginative music. Jukebox represents an exciting advancement in AI-powered music creation that can open up new creative possibilities. The future of generative AI is an exciting and rapidly evolving field, with advancements that will continue to push the boundaries of what's possible. As generative AI becomes more sophisticated, we'll see increased realism in the outputs it produces across various domains, creating more nuanced and lifelike experiences. Personalized AI-powered tools will enable the creation of content tailored to individual preferences and needs, delivering truly customized experiences. Generative AI will also spark new artistic forms and creative possibilities, pushing the boundaries of what we consider art and creative expression. At the same time, it's crucial that we have ongoing discussions around the ethical implications of generative AI, ensuring its responsible development and deployment to benefit society. The potential societal impact of generative AI is a critical issue we must consider. Automation and labor. Generative AI could automate many tasks, displacing some jobs while creating new ones. We must ensure society adapts and that new opportunities are equitably accessible. Creativity and innovation. Generative AI can enhance human creativity by providing new tools and inspiration, 
but there are concerns about AI replacing artists and diminishing the value of original work. Communication and information. Generative AI can improve communication by enabling more effective and accessible information sharing, but there are worries about AI-generated content spreading misinformation or creating echo chambers. Social justice and equity. Generative AI systems are trained on data that may contain by. A generative AI is being used to personalize content, tailoring experiences to individual preferences and interests. This includes generating unique news articles, product descriptions, or even personalized educational materials. Generative models are being used in drug discovery to accelerate the process by designing new molecules with desired properties and simulating their interactions with proteins. This can help identify potential drug candidates more efficiently. A generative AI is revolutionizing creative fields like art and entertainment. Artists use it to create unique visual artworks, generate music compositions, and write scripts for films and video games. A generative models can generate code in various programming languages, aiding developers in creating software applications more quickly and efficiently. This includes generating code for web applications, mobile apps, and even complex algorithms. Generative AI models are a rapidly evolving field, with researchers exploring new and innovative ways to enhance their performance and capabilities. One key area of focus is developing novel neural network architectures that can push the boundaries of what's possible in terms of generative abilities. Another important direction is improving data quality and quantity through techniques like data augmentation and synthetic data generation. This helps address limitations in training data. Understanding the inner workings and decision-making processes of these models is crucial for improving interpretability, control, and trust in their outputs. Integrating human feedback and collaboration into the generative process is a promising approach to guide model development and improve the quality of generated content. Generative AI is rapidly evolving, driven by advancements in algorithms, computing power, and data availability. A generative AI holds immense potential for innovation across various industries, but ethical considerations and challenges remain. A continued research, responsible development, and ethical frameworks will be crucial for shaping the future of generative AI. This conclusion summarizes the key takeaways from the presentation, highlighting the current state of the generative AI landscape, its potential and challenges, and the importance of responsible development going forward.